In yoga, the word Naga and the word Kala are used synonymously. Both mean the same thing in a way. Why would snake and time mean the same thing? Time as we know it in terms of seconds, minutes, hours, days, months, years and decades and centuries and millennia, the time that we know in our experience is essentially an outcrop of an infinite space whose nature is timelessness. Probably these names are just heard, probably nobody really bothers to ask why they are named like this. You have heard of certain snake being called Ananta. Ananta means eternal. So there is one snake which represents eternity. This is why the Kala Sarpa is in the form of infinite symbol or infinity symbol that is representing eternal, it is a Kala Sarpa. There is another snake which is called a Sheshanaga. You heard of that? When the creation collapses, when galaxies collapse, there will be some residue left. That is the Shesha. If you have learned mathematics in a local language in India, you would know Shesha means the residue in the mathematics. What is left over? What is the reminder? In English it's called the reminder, that is the Shesha. So this is the Sheshanaga, one who is left over from previous creations. So one who is left over is very vital for the next creation to happen, to have some kind of information which can go into the next making of the creation. So <coughs> when we say creation, we mean everything. We don't mean a universe or a galaxy or a planetary system, we mean everything. Everything that is created at some point collapses, in that there is a shesha or something that is a reminder which becomes the basis for the next creation. This is the eighty-fourth creation according to the yogic sciences. When we say this is the eighty-fourth creation, we have not arrived at it by going and looking into the galaxies and cosmo cosmic spaces as to what is happening there. By looking into this one, we see there is a record of eighty-four creations. That is the shesha in us, the reminder in us that there have been eighty-four creations. How many more can happen? Well, up to hundred and twelve can happen. The hundred and twelve beyond that, the creation will not be of physical nature, will be of pure energy form. This is what it means by saying only hundred and twelve chakras are physically manifest, rest or above the body or beyond the body means they are beyond physical nature. So the future creations, we are not talking in terms of uh, uh, years or centuries or millennia or even millions of years, it is many, many billions of years probably. So having said that, these are two important aspects of Naga. One is Kala, in that in the Kala there is one which is Ananta, another which is Shesha. The third one is Karkotaka, which is what these three aspects that we are handling here. There has not been a single civilization where there is no usage of snake as access to deeper dimensions of life. In nearly over eight hundred years, a proper consecration of Naga has not happened. No. This guy is special that way. Naga, Naga, this is about divinity rising within a human being who is willing. So there are two kinds of Kala Sarpa Yoga. One kind is to enhance one's lifespan, another wants to curtail their lifespan. 
The Naga is sitting here, he is a Kshetrapala. Kala and Naga are the same things, they are beyond physical nature. My exploration, my ability to see things have been largely aided by the Naga. Mahishwarayan